Hey, look, another familiar face on today's program. Mr. Gessler is back with us. He is with CrossFit Recursive. And welcome back in, Dirk. We've been talking a lot of CrossFit here lately. Let's talk about the difference between the CrossFit games and how that compares to what you do at Recursive. Sure, sure. Um, so uh, the, the founder of CrossFit, Greg Glassman, has a, a saying he likes to, to uh, push about. Uh, basically, the needs of Olympic athletes and our grandparents differ in degree, not kind. Uh, so, you know, the things that people are doing in the Olympics, the things that people are doing in professional sports, they may do it to a level higher or more intense, but everybody still needs to be able to, to sit down and stand up. If they fall down on the ground, they still got to get up off the ground, right? So, um, you know, you see movements in the games, and we do a lot of those same movements in the gym. Uh, but maybe not at the weights they have or we scale them back so that anybody, literally anybody, can do these movements. Yeah, and I think that's what's important to hit on is that anybody can do this. What right. does a typical class look like at Recursive? Uh, so what we generally do is we bring everybody in, the coach will warm everybody up, get the blood flowing through the body, get the, the oxygen transport going, uh, and then we'll work on a little bit of mobility, maybe five or 10 minutes just to make sure the joints are healthy and in good shape. And from there, we'll move on and we'll learn some skills, we'll work on some strength work, and then we'll finish up the, the hour with a, a good workout and get you sweaty, get you out of breath. Now, I think the other question that people have too is, do you only do CrossFit there? No, not at all. We actually have a lot of different uh, opportunities. Uh, CrossFit was kind of how we started and then we've moved into, uh, we do a lot of personal training now. Uh, for just people that don't like the groups or want a little more one-on-one -on -one focus. We've also introduced a new program, RX, uh, Recursive Express. They're half-hour classes, not CrossFit. Uh, real easy to get in and learn. They're, you learn everything you need to in the two minutes before the, the workout starts. Uh, and you just get through, get in, get out, get sweaty. Hmm. And that's always a good thing. I think some people too, uh, they might have been out of being uh, at a good fitness level for a number of years and they wonder, you know, CrossFit, I don't know, I haven't done it before. Is it difficult? So on a, on a degree thing or something like that, some kind of scale, how difficult is it to do CrossFit? You know, I like to, uh, I like to talk about the fact that it's, it's actually very simple. It's not easy, but it's simple. Um, you know, we teach you all the movements. We make sure you do the movements well. Uh, we make sure you do the movement safely uh, and, and you will, you know, you'll get a good workout in. It, it will be a, a difficult workout. It will work you very hard, but uh, it's not hard to do. You know, some people start down the path, they hit a plateau. What do you think is the biggest hurdle to getting in shape? Um, consistency, absolutely consistency. Um, it's real easy to say, yeah, I have a gym membership and maybe you go one or two times a week or, or once a week, but um, you know, if you're not going three or more times a week and consistently doing that workout, it's really hard to see results. It's really hard to keep pushing past those plateaus. You got to be committed. Absolutely. So, Dirk, thank you so much. Pleasure seeing you again, and thanks for being on the show. Thank you. A special thank you to Conan Automotive in Stoughton for supporting local athletics.